as some of you know, I have a 2004 or five Range Rover. The, the uh, engine decided to dial me just as soon as I got it on the road, literally that same day. So it's time to bring her back to life. That's not her, mine is blue. However, the engine from this one is about to go in mine. I recently acquired a new job at my mentor's shop, Finney Cars up in Alpharetta, Georgia, and uh, pretty much only works on European luxury cars. Here's a Bentley under that car cover, 14 Range Rover, that's a Discovery. You got the S-Class over there, two E60s, and there's plenty more outside. Mr. Feeney has been working on European cars longer than I've been alive and uh, he's taught me a lot. I'm still learning more every day and he also tends to like to help people when he can. In this particular scenario he's helping me get my Range Rover back on the road. What I'm going to do is purchase this engine once I have removed it from the vehicle and uh, refurbish it and put it in my truck. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're making pretty good progress so far. We got the transfer case and the transmission pulled. Um, I'm about to drop the vehicle down on the ground after I pull these wheels off because I need to get the suspension pulled out so I can go ahead and get the axle pulled out so I can go ahead and prepare to get the engine pulled out. So yeah, again, we're making progress. We'll be done shortly. All right, so it took all day, because I took my time. We wasn't here joking around, playing around and stuff in the shop, but I got her out. So now it's time to put this bad boy on the stand, run through it, because it, as you can see, it is filthy. Oil all in here and water pump like it needs to be replaced, which it will be. All the other jazz, rear intake cover, OSB, all of this is gonna get changed. Differential fluid and differential. Yeah, all this is going to get changed. Now I use my throttle body for mine because it's going on here. It probably sold. So that's it for today. Very short video. No point in really going in detail about pulling an engine because, hell, I just pulled an engine. So uh, updates will be coming when I start working on this engine to get the timing done, changing all the peripherals and everything. And of course, when I get ready to put it back into the new one, well, into the other car, then I'll make a video for that too. So y'all be cool. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about me. Peace.